it's minus two degrees outside. That is freaking cold. I'm so glad I'm staying in tonight. God. What's up, everyone? Happy New Year. It is actually New Year's Eve by the time I'm recording this. I'm not sure if I'm going to have this out tonight or if it's going to be the next day, but uh, I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different other than video game pickups and all that stuff and kind of uh, talk a little bit about my gaming habits. Uh, it's the end of 2017 going into 2018, and uh, some of the questions I get is what other systems do you actually play on aside from the PlayStation, Vita, and Sega stuff? Uh, of course, everybody knows I'm a big fan of Sega. Uh, but, uh, aside from that, uh, there's, there's actually a story, um, back in 1999 when the Dreamcast, actually 2000, when the Dreamcast was pretty much already said it's going to be discontinued, I had a problem of where I was going to next. I had a little bit of a bias against Sony, uh, the PlayStation 2. Eventually down the road, I did pick up a PlayStation 2 for one particular game, which probably is a story for another time. Uh, but what really drew me was more towards where Sega wanted to go, and that was with the Microsoft Xbox. Uh, I wasn't too keen on it. I actually waited until about uh, 2003, just as I had actually started freshman year of college, to actually get myself an Xbox. And of course, the only games I got for it were the Sega ones. So uh, I had uh, a Sega GT with uh, Jet Grand Radio Future, Panzer Dragon and Orta. I eventually got into the Halos and all the other stuff. Uh, and I've been with Xbox pretty much ever since. Uh, so I do have several different original Xboxes. I have, of course, the Xbox 360 I jumped to. Uh, and, of course, I have an original Xbox One. I have not quite upgraded to the Xbox One X just yet, but that is probably in my future. And, of course, my, my computers tell me I have updates. Um, but um, I will say um, the... 360 is huge. I've got a large library of 360 games. If you've seen my room tour, you've probably seen that. Uh, it's probably one of my largest collections next to my Dreamcast collection. Uh, actually, my Vita now. My Vita is actually really catching up, just scary. Um, but, you know, I've been on Xbox Live for 12 years now, which is actually a really long time to be with Microsoft. But I actually like what they have. My, my Xbox One right now, unfortunately, that collection is probably my smallest collection for games, but it gets the most use. Uh, by that I mean that, you know, I do everything on my Xbox. I watch YouTube on Xbox. I watch Twitch on Xbox. I stream from Xbox. Um, I, I do all that. And of course, uh, what uh, the whole point of this video actually is to kind of show off, I've really been getting more into collecting some of their controllers. Now, their controllers are kind of expensive compared to what, like, other uh, systems have. I mean, you can usually get PlayStation controllers on sale for you know, 30% off or whatever, they have got those deals every once in a while. Xbox, not so much. They don't get on sale much. Uh, I do love their custom controllers. I've always actually wanted to get a custom controller. I just haven't had the extra cash to do so. I've got several different designs, though, that I have saved to their website under my name. Um, and I use a lot of their controllers for other things. Like, I'm a big Windows guy because I actually work in IT. So, naturally, Windows is my preferred platform. Um, so, and I guess we'll just kind of start with that. Um... One thing I really enjoy about their Xbox controllers is, is their different designs, not only just with different characters, different colors, uh, but whole, also how their they're different scheme, schemes, schemes, <laughs> their different patterns that they actually release for the retail versions that you can't really get on their website, which I'm hoping maybe they'll change that in the future, but the one that I use uh, mostly for my Windows platform is, is this one, which is their, uh, one of their Shadow Chromes. Um, but this is what I use for my PC most. I just love this, this whole, these different colors. I mean, um, the only thing I, I kind of disappointed in is it doesn't have the rubber grips. I love the rubber grips. We'll get into that more later. But I just like how the buttons are kind of like the red on black, and it fades in. Um, and, and sadly, my camera does not do it justice. Uh, this is a really great controller up front. Um, the sides even kind of fade, which are, are excellent. Um... And this is a recent one that I just picked up. I had a good, this is their Ocean Shadow one. Uh, kind of in the same scheme. They've got like three of them so far that are kind of in the same type chrome pattern. I don't have the newest one, which is like the Volcano one. Uh, I've got my eye on it. Eventually that may come. Um, this is their Shadow one again. Kind of the same thing. It's just got like the blue on it, on the black. And again, my camera really doesn't show this off. If I had a better lighting in here, which at some point I'll, I'll probably improve, um, I can probably show these off a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, compared to this one, I mean, these these are pretty nice. Uh, up front, they look gorgeous. Uh, again, this does not have the rubber grips on it, but that's okay. Uh, the one that does have the rubber grip, this is actually one 
Um, one of the my main controller that I use most of the time for my Xbox One, um, and this is the Lunar One, which is exclusive to GameStop. Uh, this has the Chrome D-pad on it. Uh, it's got the black on white, which normally this black top here would all be a full color. When you do the custom ones, um, even on these two, you can see how they blend into the top there where the X is. And I've got a rechargeable battery in this one, but this has the rubber grips on it, and this is the reason why I use this one the most. Is I, I got clammy hands, and this is great for like you know Forza, uh, playing Gears of War, um, and I just I, I love the fact that they have these gold triggers on them, which are great. Um, so this is definitely my favorite. Uh, of course, the one that came with it, I have a uh, Day One Xbox One. Uh, so of course, I have the older Day One. It says right at the top there with kind of the uh, a, I guess kind of a silver chrome uh, diagonal pad. Uh, this one is more of my backup. This one doesn't get used anymore, in fact, of anything, because this is an older model. Uh, it actually lags. Uh, so anytime I'm using the, the UI or on the screen trying to get to my movies and whatever else, uh, this one, is, it, it, you hit a button and it waits about two seconds and then it moves, which really sucks. So I can't rely on this one too much, so this is only in case my Lunar White one actually... Uh, its batteries are dead and I'm charging it, then I'm, I'm using that one. But, uh, yeah, and the first of those are the only four controllers I have so far. But anyway, so that's kind of my story about that. Um, actually, I'm going to be streaming tonight uh, on my Xbox. It's just going to be a casual play, uh, not a huge deal. But uh, I hope you all have a great New Year's Eve, and we'll see you in 2018.